All right, guys, so for anybody who's having issues with their A50, Astro A50 headsets, is doing this, you can't do anything with it. It's just not charging. This comes up, but you know there's an update that's needed because these bars never stop going away. And no matter what you do, however you move it, you think that maybe these things, the, the tongs at the bottom are broken, but they're fine. Don't fuck with them. What you need to do, and I want to give a shout out to, I, I just saw his video and he kind of went around it um on um, what he had to do but it was a little bit confusing and uh but he was spot on so you basically want to have this here right it, it already registered it but it's just not doing the update or anything so you want to put the headset on the base station leave it like that it doesn't matter i i just put it down right and what you want to do is while it's down and it's not charging like nothing's going on here what you need to do is you need to hold the middle button and the gaming button. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. So, alright. So we're going to do gaming and this. Hold it for 20 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi, 50 Mississippi, 60 Mississippi, 80 Mississippi, 90 Mississippi, 20 Mississippi. All right, so now that that's done, look like magic, right? The light now somehow, so for some weird reason, it's now on. It just works for some reason. And look, it's just charging there. And if you're getting a software update, I wish I would have done it with my other ones. But if you're getting a software update and the box comes up here with the orange thing telling you, oh, you need to do an update. And once it gets to whatever number that is, for me, it was 75%, it would automatically just say failed, right? So which at that point, what you need to do is basically proceed with the steps that they're asking you to like update the firmware okay okay yes and then eventually it's going to tell you to it's going to show a little image of you placing the headsets on the base station right and no matter what you do putting it on whatever it is that you do even if you reset it it's not going to work it's still going to show it like you need to put the headset on the base station so what you need to do at that point is basically unplug first of all reset it so do the dolby and gaming hold it right and hold it for 20 seconds once you do that just unplug it unplug it directly from your mac and then wait maybe like 10 seconds plug it back in all right when you plug it back in that box it's like firmware required or whatever it is is not going to pop up there's literally going to be an orange little box here that says update now right and you click on that and it's going to download like this and that's it your thing is going to be fixed and you're not going to have any more problems honestly this looks like it's obviously an update error but at the same time um the reason all of this is happening is because your 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 base station needs a uh, update but there's you know some bumps on the road to do that so just remember connect your base station hard reset that's the key here once you hard reset your headset then you can basically initialize or start the process of updating and whether it updates the first time or not it doesn't matter if it fails just proceed okay yes update update now and then when it tells you to put the the headset on the base station right in the little image here you reset it unplug it and then connect it back in and when you connect it back in, it's going to show eventually update now right here. And you click on that and you're good to go. Look at that. Solid. No problem. I tried a, a hundred different methods. Obviously not. Maybe like 10, 20. But they didn't work. So, um, yeah, you, you just need to, uh, you honestly need to just reset, hard reset your headsets and then plug it back in, plug it back out. And then just keep doing that until you get the update. Thanks, guys.